Hey guys, it's me, and it is, gosh, hump day. Happy Wednesday, it's hump day. Today I'm gonna do a fun little video, and I'm trying my best not to step on Bubba. There's no respect. He knows I need to get here, but he does not care. So he's laying here <laughs> with his ears back. So today I'm gonna do a fun little video. I was writing down different video ideas and things to do this morning, and I thought about 10 things that I would never sell. When I was making that list, I realized so many of those things were shoes. So I just went ahead and took that separate and I did 10 pair of shoes that I will never sell. Now a couple of these, I have multiple colors in the actual shoe. So I'm gonna show you each pair and then hopefully over here, I will show you me trying on the shoes just so you can get a feel for I have to see what a shoe looks like. I can't stand like when I'm shopping, if especially like a pair of sunglasses, a pair of shoes, a bag, I think it's so important for them to show it on someone. This morning I was looking at a pair of sunglasses and they were these great big, kind of crazy looking sunglasses that I was looking at. All they did was show just the sunglasses and when they went to show them on the girl, they just showed a side view. Like I want to see what they look like, you know, from the front, but I just need to look them up somewhere else. But anyway, let me get the first pair. Okay, you probably have guessed these. These are my two Prada sling bags. I bought these, I believe I bought the black ones first. And I found these at a resale store in Los Angeles. It was near where Sheila used to live and I can't even remember what the area is called, but it's kind of near Calabasas. It's a, you know, a resale shop that sold designer things, and I ended up picking up these shoes, and they are beat up, they are worn out, but when you put them on, they don't look that way as much. I love the platform. I love the different heel. There is just something about a sling back heel that makes it so much more comfortable. I think because in the back you have that movement that you don't have in a regular and then with a peep toe on top of that, it's awesome. So I loved these so much, trying not to step on him. This is what I recommend that you do. If you have a pair of shoes that you love, get them in a couple of different colors, especially black and nude. That will just, you will love it. You will not regret it. If you have a shoe that you love that's older, or maybe you got rid of a pair of shoes that you used to love and you wish you never would have gotten rid of them, look them up on eBay, on Poshmark, and on the Real Real Fashion File, because that's what I did and I came across these. And oh my goodness, I love these shoes so much. This is the nude tan pair and just probably some of my most worn favorite shoes. The next pair I show you are similar and you are going to recognize them, especially if you've been here a long time. And I am so glad I saved them. Let me get them. Hold on. Here they are. My Stuart Weitzman clogs. Clogs are back in. This whole wooden heel clog. I mean, really, even the most traditional clogs are back in. And I remember when those things came in style, I can't, I think I was probably in middle school. I got a pair and I mean, I thought I was just grown. I mean, cause they, they felt like you had high heels on even though they had that platform. And I think they made that sound like in the hallway. I just loved them. So I really have always loved clogs. And I've even gone through my phase of Dansko's at I need to just do a story time about that, about all the things that I tried to wear to fit in. Because when Brooke, Brooke more than Will, but when Brooke was little, she was in a lot of like friend groups and you know, stuff like that. And so I was around a lot of other moms and I didn't fit in. So I tried and it, I had many failures. And then finally I just let it go. And I did my own style, but in more of a comfy way and I recommend the same to you. Don't try to fit in, but anyway. anyway. Here are my Stuart Weitzman clogs. They are worn out. I'm gonna have to probably maybe get them cleaned up a little bit. I don't know, but I'm gonna wear them this summer. They are just, I mean, look at the toe marks. I just wore the fool out of them and I enjoyed every minute and I'm going to again. Okay, this is a little pair of shoes that you probably have not seen too many times several pairs of these shoes are going to be shoes that I have either never worn, worn to death, 
or worn a couple of times, but they're just special to me. And these are special. I saw these on a blogger that I follow on Instagram and she had these on with a pair of jeans and I tracked them down. I don't know what it is about them. I just think they are the prettiest, happiest little shoes. I've always loved strappy shoes. I've always loved metallic. And I love the way, oh my goodness, I don't think I ever took the heel or the shoe thing off of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that later. I've only worn them, I think, twice. But when I got them, I was much heavier. I was not feeling very good. And so I didn't wear them as much. I think I'm gonna end up wearing them a lot more this summer and this spring because I feel better. And I feel like wearing heels and little small shoes like this. She had them on with a pair of jeans and I just tracked them down. A lot of these are so dusty because I haven't worn them. Attico and they're just so pretty. They have a good, good heel. It's not too tall. And um, look how it's even got the, like the pink metallic. Just so pretty. Okay, these, my Gucci shoes that I got at the Gucci store on Rodeo Drive. And I got these, I love, look at even the inside. I mean, these shoes are fabulous. They are over the top, but they are very, very comfortable and they're very classic. They still sell these. And I bought them, gosh, years ago, and I wore them to a summer wedding at a restaurant down on the water at the beach. And I wore it with a, if I can find the picture, I'll put it in here, but I don't know. Ever since my Instagram got stolen from me, I lost a lot of pictures that I thought I'd always have, you know? I felt great in that dress with these shoes on and they were comfortable. I got so many compliments and I just love them. So I will just never sell these. I don't even know if I'll ever wear them, but they just have good memories attached to them and I just love them. I think they're fabulous. Okay, these little Jimmy Choo pumps, you can probably remember these too. I was inspired by Marissa Webb. She had a picture where she was bending down and I believe she had on like a denim shirt and some shorts and she had on some bright orange pumps. And I just fell in love with the whole look. As soon as I got these, they're Jimmy Choo, they're size 38, just their basic pump. Cause there's one that's a little bit higher than this. I don't go above four inches for a pump. It just, unless they have a platform, but a four inch total heel. They're gorgeous. I love, I think the color was called Flame and they look so good with so many different things, with an all white outfit, with jeans, with a just a um, graphic tee. They're just beautiful. They were so hard to find and I love them so much that I will never ever get rid of these. Okay, my Schutz boots. These are the Mariana Schutz boots. Now I have, oh my goodness, one, two, three. I have four pair of different colors in this boot. They are the most comfortable, stylish, high heel boot you will ever wear. They are just probably my favorite boots I've ever gotten. They are just beautiful on because they're not too tight. I love the way this curves. So I've got the eggshell color is my latest one. I've got a tan nude color. Then I've got the snakeskin classic, but these pink ones, I think it was called pink quartz. You remember when I got them, they're just beautiful. I can wear these with anything and people stop me and compliment my boots. They're just beautiful. That This color pink, I hope you can see, I'm using my Canon camera, but I've got the blinds open, good sunshine. But this pink, I will never sell. I don't plan on ever selling the other ones, but this pink is just extra, extra special. Just look at the nice pointy heel, the seam down the middle, perfect heel. And I wear an eight, so they're very true to size. I really think I might need a black pair. I typically don't wear black boots. I don't know. I, when I wear all black, I like wearing another color with it, but the black ones I think may be in my future because I just love them that much. So this is definitely a pair I would never sell. Okay, my Sex in the City girls, my Manolo 
I do not know how to pronounce that. They H A N something, hang a C or something like that. They, these I need to have a spanking because I am, they're so dusty and I need to put these in a shoe box to keep them and I probably will. The Sex in the City shoes where she got married and she put these shoes on. These are the ones that she left in his closet. You know the whole story. And they're actually very comfortable. And now that the um, Moada, what is it, Amina Moada, hey Chanel. Now that those shoes are in style, I think these are going to be a little bit easier to wear because this has gotten to be so much more popular, the, you know, ornate. I might wear these soon. Okay, these little Tory Burch platforms. I think I have worn these one time, but these shoes just make me happy. They are the most beautiful little platform shoes. They have the pink fuzzy bunny top to them, then the pink sole with the most fabulous, it looks just like the Ferragamo heels, most fabulous gold heel and just the softness of the gold is just the best so love these they're very heavy and like i said i've worn them one time but i love them so much if they just sit on a shelf they still make me happy when i look at them so definitely a keeper do more pair these are my stuart weitzman nouveau nude pumps my second pair. The first ones I wore out. I mean, they were just trash. These are just the most comfortable pumps and they do not make them anymore. I do want to try their new version, their new pumps from Stuart Weitzman, but I also really want to try the um, Sam Edelman Hazel pumps. I have heard that those are so comfortable and they come in so many different colors. So I want to try those too because they look very similar and the price is great. So you could get like different colors. I have several different colors. I have the cobalt blue. I have the white. Um, I have another nudie color. I have several colors in these pumps and I will never sell them. These are my favorite. It's kind of like the Schutz boots. The pink ones are my favorite. These are my favorite. And then I would probably have to say those cobalt blue. I just love them. So we'll never go anywhere. They're just classic and they're so comfortable. Okay, last but not least, another classic, the YSL Tribute. I bought these years and years ago. I have not worn these very much. I think I have worn them to another wedding. And maybe, I think I took them out of town. I think I wore them at the Monate the awards convention. I might have taken them to a reward style convention because they're just classic. They still sell these. They sell them in a lower heel. They sell them in all different colors. They have sold them for years. They are just, I think, just a classic shoe and I love them and they are very, very comfortable. To be this high, anytime you have this platform, they're just comfortable and they're beautiful. I love like the braided side and they're gorgeous. Guys, and I'm gonna do an outfit of the day, I believe down at the beach. My plan is to take all of these shoes down to the beach and get some good shoe shots. <laughs> and hopefully I'll do my outfit of the day down there. I just have on, I'll show you what I have on right now. I'll just go ahead and show it all. Just regular Uggs because I was cold. And then I've got on these white but they're really just like a little bit off white levi's jeans that i love i'm gonna have to i'll link them below because whatever style this is i really really love them a bodysuit from zara and then this is that oversized men's blazer from h m and i love it it's and it was not very expensive it was way less than 100 i think it might have been 60 timeless such a good thing to get and I forgot to paint my fingernails this morning. Last night I took off the, I can't remember what I had on last. Was it Cajun shrimp or something? No, funny bunny. And I thought I want to do strawberry margarita. I was just feeling that vibe after all of those beautiful handbags. I don't have it up here, so I forgot. And I didn't even think about it this morning. So just clear coat on my nails. And my accessories are the Dean Davidson little Manhattan studs. I love these with the Manhattan ring. Another thing I'm going to do today, let me see. Let me count them real quick.
Okay, I've got eight pair of shoes I'm taking to the resale shop today. A couple of them are some Schutz sandals that were just cute, but I didn't end up wearing them and they just aren't worth keeping. I would rather get something new. I'd rather get something comfortable, something that's, you know, popular now. Two pair of my Rag & Bone Newberry booties, but the canvas ones. And I really do have good memories of those because I think that was when I was right around 44 or 45, which were really good years. It was right before I went into perimenopause. <laughs> Sad but true. They're kind of like out of date. I can't imagine wearing them and I would rather have someone else have them and enjoy them. And then some other, I think I put a pair of old Zara boots in there and some other things. So I've got new stuff coming in. I placed a big, beautiful order this morning with Bloomingdale's. And I actually saw a lot of things when I was shopping today. I was uh, texting different friends, this would look good on you, this would look good on you. So I'm going to, when I do that haul, I'm also going to list some other things that I saw that I think will, like one bag I saw I thought would look great for Tammy. Then I saw some little beautiful little dresses and sets that would look great on petite girls. So I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit more of that into my hauls. I think I'm also going to maybe break them up a little bit. Like I've got a two Zara hauls that I want to do separate and I want to try each thing on with you. Whereas in a Friday haul, it's hard for me to just, I don't want to just show it. We need to try it on. I'll kind of split it up just a little bit. I mean, I'll always have my Friday haul, but you guys know what I mean. I want to do more like styling videos. I've got so much planned. I've got um, 10 things. Oh yeah, 10 things that don't look good on me, but I love things that look good on other people. That kind of got inspired by that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.